Hey guys, Nurse Alyssa here. Today we are going to talk about prevention and treatment of swelling or edema in your legs and feet. But before we get started, if you could hit a like and subscribe, it would be greatly appreciated. So let's get started. So what actually causes foot and leg swelling? Um, you might actually hear me refer to this as edema because that is what it's, it actually is. That's the name for it. Um, so edema can result just from gravity. So sitting or standing in one place for too long, um, water naturally gets pulled down by gravity and it sits in your feet and legs. Um, so this can happen when we have weakening of the valves in our veins. So our veins, our veins say they run like this, and then we have these little valves in them. Okay, and as we as we get older, these valves start to not close all the way, and they sit kind of further apart. That the blood doesn't move up properly then, and fluid seems to sit in the legs and the feet, and that's where we get the edema. Um, so certain diseases can also cause um, edema, which um, is Heart, uh, congestive heart failure, lung disease, liver disease, kidney disease, and thyroid disease. Some medications can cause edema, um, and that includes high blood pressure pills and pain medication. It can also be caused by an allergic reaction, severe inflammation, burns, trauma, blood clots, or poor nutrition. It can be caused by too much salt or pregnancy. Mild edema normally goes away on its own um, as soon as you lay down for the night, go to sleep, um, and your legs are equal with the rest of your body, the fluid will move back up and go to your bladder. Um, now for more severe edema, um, sometimes compression therapy is ordered or even medications such as Lasix to expel the excess fluid from the body. Um, the main idea that you want to do for treatment though is long-term management um, that includes treating the underlying cause. So why do we have the edema? That's what we want to do because it's easy to put compressions on somebody, but that's for life. So we want to make sure that we are treating that underlying cause of the edema. So lifestyle changes and home remedies, um, we can use movement. So as we're walking, our muscles actually help move the fluid back up um, out of our legs. Um, you can use elevation. So when you're sitting down, elevate the feet, it'll help move the fluid back up. Um, you can have somebody massage legs. So you're going to start from the toes and work your way up up the leg um, and that'll help push the fluid up the leg. Um, compressions, compression stockings, we do want to make sure that we have this approved by a doctor first and have a lower leg assessment done to ensure our legs can handle the compression. Um, and then you want to protect the legs. So you want to make sure that if you have swelling that you're moisturizing the legs because as um, our legs get bigger and stretched out, um, they can get cracks um, and cuts a lot easier than when your legs are not swollen. Um, you can also decrease your salt intake um, and that will help bring down the edema. Um, but definitely you want to talk to your doctor um, about any lifestyle changes that you're going to make or thinking of making. So why is it so important that we treat edema? Um, it is very important because we can have increased pain due to the swelling. You can have stiffness, difficulty walking, um, stretched, itchy skin. You can develop ulcers. Um, a lot of my job, I have, I have seen so many lower limb ulcers caused by edema. Um, when fluid sits there, um, it ends up causing sores and it ends up causing quite large wounds and they hurt. Um, uh, ulcers caused by edema, they are right where the nerves are and they hurt. Um, it can also cause scarring, 
decreased blood circulation, and it can also cause infections. So cellulitis, when fluid just sits there, um, it does cause the leg to get red, warm, um, and a lot of time IV antibiotics are needed to clear this up. That's all I have for this video. I'll catch you next time.